G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to today's training session. And today we're going to take a look at the approvals app in Microsoft Teams, how you can create your own approval, send it to somebody for uh, their response, but then also introduce a new functionality that's rolling out. And that's the ability to save approvals or the responses to those approvals to a PDF file that you can then save to uh, a different location just for your reference. Um, and you can, yeah, then, then send Send that to another application or just store it for, for your own records. You can also export all of your approvals uh, sent or received out to um, a, an Excel file as well. Um, so we're going to have a look at that, uh, or sorry, CSV file. Uh, so we're going to have a look at that functionality as well. So let's just jump in. You can see I'm logged in as Alex um, and I am going to go to the approvals app. So I've already installed, I've already added this to the rail, I've pinned it. Now for those of you that don't know how to pin uh, an app to the rail, all you do is you find your app, um, you add your app and then you can right click and pin that to your rail and that will always uh, um, be there in that, uh, in that rail for you. So I've already done that to the approvals app. You can see logged in as Alex. I've already received a number of uh, approval requests uh, as Alex, but I've also sent one as well. Now you can see in the top right hand corner, I can start a new approval request. And we've got a couple of different options here. You can see there's integration with Adobe Sign and DocuSign. So if you've got accounts or services already activated with those two, then you can use and integrate with those two services. Or we can just use basic requests or we can use templates. So your organization um, you know, might uh, create a template for an approval. Let's say it's a leave request. You might have that available to everybody to then then be able to use that template and send it to the particular person that needs to approve that. So I'm just gonna start with a basic request, all right? Now, if we click on basic request, we start our new uh, approval. So let's just give this um, a name called leave request, uh, and I'm just going, actually, I won't worry, I'll just leave it as leave request. Now, I wanna send this to my manager, Megan. So we'll type that in there. It's important, um, and I'm just going to leave the details. Let's go, uh, just go say need a break. Um, and you can also either attach uh, a document to this approval request as well. So these, in, in this situation, it would be good. Um, maybe there's doctor's certificates or medical certificates or you know anything else that uh, you want to send along with this uh, request. Okay, because it could be a medical leave, right? So it could be something that you're doing uh, post having a day off, for example. So it could be, uh, you know, you've gone to the doctor, you've got your medical certificate, and then you can upload and attach this to this approval request. We can have custom responses as well. Okay, so you can generate your own custom res responses. We can go, please approve, um, and go, no way. Or we can send it to another environment. Okay, which we won't go into right now. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna send that. Now, if I bring Megan's uh, teams across here, you can see I'm in here, but I've just been notified, bottom right hand corner, little toast notification, Alex has sent me a uh, approval request. You can see that it is also in the activity feed. So when Megan clicks on that uh, item in the activity feed, she's prompted and she's got um, uh, this dialog box that comes up. She can review it, it's pending response, it's important. Uh, she can even reassign this if it's been sent to her on, um, you know, by mistake, for example, or she's not the one that or uh, that needs to approve this. We've got our two custom responses, please approve or no way, uh, and we can add some comments. So I'm just gonna approve this, and I'm going to slide this back across. Now we can see here I've got two, I've got the final status that just popped up. Um, it's popped into Alex's activity feed as the final status here, and you can see that we've got um, the response and the flow. Now you'll also notice in the bottom right hand corner here that I've got the option to save this as PDF. So when I click save as PDF, it's going to download that and create a PDF file of this response. So if I open that file now, you can see that I've got a visual representation and I can store that in a, in a particular location in my OneDrive or something like that if I want to as well. All right, so that's a nice little piece of functionality if you that's just been released if you want to save your approvals individually as PDFs. Okay, now what you'll also see is if I jump back into the approvals um, app here, 
You'll also see in the top right hand corner that I've got the ability to export. So when I click on export, I can pick a date, uh, date range. So you can see here we select a date range within uh, 90 days um, from today uh, for the approvals I've received. Okay, now I might have mentioned the one uh, previously about the ones that I've sent um, being involved in this as well. It's only the received. Okay, so if I select some dates, let's just let's just go up to capture quite a few. We'll go to the this date here. We'll export now. It's automatically going to export this data into my OneDrive. Okay, so it's it's processing. You can see top right hand corner processing processing. It will give me a notification once it has exported all of this data. And what's interesting here is that it automatically creates a location in my OneDrive. So here, exports complete. Let's click on this little toast notification. I'm taken to my activity feed. Um, and then you can see here that I can now access the CSV file from the OneDrive. That's the, the, uh, the name of the file. If I click on view, we can see that I'm taken directly to the CSV file. It's gonna open up. And we now have uh, a CSV file with all of the information for um, my approvals. So you can see that these ones have been approved um, and you can see the title, we can see the status, the stage. If we just expand a few more of these out, uh, we can see that we've got what stage they're at, we've got the source, we've got created, sent by, and sent to. So you can see these are all of the ones um, uh, that Megan has sent to Alex. All right, so if we just jump back into here and we have a look at the approvals app, we can see that they will match up with what we've got listed in the approvals app. So we'll wait for this to, to load. Um, and we can see, I mean, the, we're in the receive tab and we've got one, two, three, so we've got three my stuffs, LinkedIn post, Twitter post. So um, if we pop back into here, and there are those, okay? So they are the ones that I have received, not the ones that I have sent. But ones with that I have sent, you can see um, that you can also jump onto the tab, uh, the sent uh, approvals tab, and you can export your sent ones as well as the received ones, all right? But you just have to do them separately. So jump onto the received one, export the received, jump onto the sent tab, and then also export the sent ones as well. Uh, and also the ones, and we've just had a look at the ones that you've sent, you can actually export or save those as PDFs as well. So I hope that brings you some value today. Um, the approvals app easily um, gives you the option or the capabilities to create approvals. We can now also export those uh, as CSV files, both received and sent, but we have to do them individually from the received tab and the sent tab. But you can also save your individual sent ones as PDFs for, uh, for your reference as well. So thanks again. See you next time.